All right, everyone. So Paul George revealed what he said to Kawhi Leonard on a phone call when he decided to leave. This is a short transcript of what he said. I owe Kawhi that conversation. I called him up and was just like, man, listen, I think I'm going to go elsewhere. Conversation with the Clippers didn't go how I wanted to. I kind of broke down how I told you guys how it all played out. And we had the conversation. I was like, man, I got to do what's best. He understood. So this comes, obviously, we saw them partying in that club together. So they're, you know, they're, they're fine. Um, I will say that Kawhi Leonard, I do think this may be something the Clippers have to watch. This may become a problem, right? Because Paul George is going to have a better season than Kawhi Leonard, it looks like, at this point. At least in the regular season, the Sixers are going to be very good. They're going to be a top-notch team. And they may not be better than the Celtics. That's yet to be seen. The Knicks may surprise. Maybe they're not even better than the Knicks. But the Clippers are going to be struggling, and especially if Kawhi can't stay healthy. And I think putting all of your you know, pressure onto Kawhi here when he hasn't been healthy these past few years, he wasn't healthy enough to play with Team USA, this is a problem. This is a real, real problem for the Clippers. You know, I really thought that at the end of everything, I thought there was something there with Kawhi. You know, I listened to some of his, those, um, those quotes he gave when he was asked about Paul George's exit when he was with Team USA, and it seemed like he was kind of very quiet about it, but maybe taking a few digs. Turns out that wasn't true. You know, these guys are still friends. They're still fine. And I think that's a problem for the Clippers because Kawhi is probably sitting there thinking, wait a minute, why didn't you guys sign him again, right? My guess is that's what's, what he's thinking right now. And even if he doesn't come out and say it, because maybe he's not, you know, really pushing for it, he definitely is going to think it. And if they don't play well this year, he's going to look back on that and go, well, this is one of the reasons that we are where we are is because we don't have Paul George. We don't have the guy who, if he's on the team, makes us that title contender. Without him, it's kind of all on me. Don't love it. So thank you all for watching, and we will see you next time.